Rolling like the speed of sound We can keep on the ground All right, hello everybody. This is the 50th video of my channel. A real video we might have it's we'll get into. But the reason I haven't been posting videos is because just plain out procrastination. I just did not feel like posting anything a week or so. So yeah, that's my reason. To you, Dark. Yes. What's up, guys? Um, Dark Knight here. It's been a while, and I'm back from a long break. Sorry, I haven't been uploading. Um, for one, I just recently got a job, and I work second shift, so when I'm not working, I'm sleeping, or I'm playing with my new cat I got. Um, I might upload a video of my cat uh, here in a little bit. It's a little kitten, but um, anyways. We're here for this my hundredth video, and this is one of our stickiest videos. It's kind of a special day, and I know we did say that we we're gonna do like fast and furious videos for our fiftieth uh, and hundredth, but right now, since I got the job, and just it's a lot, it's very time consuming, and I mean, I, I'm only doing this video right now because I'm off today. So, yeah. With that being said, that's not a project we're quitting we're just putting off until we have more time but uh we decided well since we just got this GTA update it's a perfect chance to do a video for our, both of our uh, 50 to 100 so yeah <laughs> with that being said um these are our two new cars um update what is the name El Gotten Games part one the name of it is El Gotten Games part one El Gotten Games my car is the Albany Vigro. It's in the muscle class. No, it's a two door muscle. Um, it, it, oh, I'm not sure how much it is. Um, it's on the, the auto. You go down. And it's only $195,000. It's a decent car. I like it a lot. And um, one thing I've noticed. When I got it, it looks a lot like the, the Green Hornet car, if anyone's seen the Green Hornet movie. So that's kind of the theme I want for when I upgrade mine. And so maybe you can go ahead and talk about your car. Alright, mine is the Enos Windsor. It is, um, let me get into the phone. Hold on. Not prepared for this, as you see. So prepared. Um, mine is 845 hundred thousand and it has multiple skins with it like there's this one that one this one yada 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 like they're they're really cool but it ranges from a hundred thousand to forty thousand so it's really expensive but it's worth it because you can also make them whatever color you want yeah. okay you want you want to say the benefit of the sterling then? Um, yeah, I, I guess I can talk about that. The Benefactor Sterling is another vehicle in the uh, update. Um, it's $975,000, and it, it's a nice car. It's a sports classic. Um, it reminds me of like a James Bond car, but uh, you can get it in these colors. Or And here's the stats down here if anyone wants to see the stats. But, uh, yeah, you can get that car. I haven't got it yet because I can't afford it. But yeah, go ahead, Thunder. Next is the Pagasi Osiris. That is uh, 1,050,000. And there's nothing special besides the company that's normal. Um, they should lower the price, in my opinion, because it's slower than the, the adder. But there is more detail. They, there is rumor that they will be lowering the price at some point, like they do with everything they can. Yeah. Man, I just got a bomb right there. Nope. Last for yelled at me. But, yeah. Next to the clothing store. Yeah, and another mini thing I just wanted to mention before we go to the clothing store is they kind of updated the, the website, the Legendary Motorsport, just like the background and the whole look. Um, that came out with this update, and if you go to the Southern San Andreas, the regular 
um, car's website, they updated it too. You can sort by prices or you can sort by filters and stuff. Just wanted to mention that because that's a new thing. And yeah, let's go to the close store. Yeah, okay. Alright. We are going to show you the multiple. Get out of my way. That are new. <laughs> I guess we'll go ahead and talk about the outfits. Um, if you go to the outfit um, section at the register, you can go down to designer. And all of these outfits are the new outfits, but I wonder if we can just kind of talk about the clothes in general. But, um, it's just, I, I the don't outfit know how to do that. pretty much just give you a sneak peek on what's new. There's all kinds of new jackets and, um, overcoats and shoes. Um, yeah. It's kind of cool, but it's not my style. Oh, and um, let's go ahead and show you. You can get earrings now and like just d different types of watches. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got picked on for the earrings I have in. Yeah, you can get earrings if you want. I don't want earrings, but there you go. There's all those. I just got them because it was part of the outfit. Yeah, and the watches are actually kind of cool. They got into really detail with the watches. They uh, kind of remind me of the iWatch. It's like um, iFruits version of those. Hey, there's a smiley face. Yeah. Other than the clothes, outfits, watches, and earrings, is that pretty much it of the clothes? Next to the ammunition. Yeah. Another thing, guys, this is going to be a longer video since it is our 50th and 100th. We decided to go ahead and make it a little bit longer than usual. Plus, we can go ahead and oh. do that, too. Um, yes. There was a uh, share factory update on the PS4. And then we can actually do longer videos now. We can do up to 30 minutes now. So, yeah. Alright. There's actually two things. Well, three things, technically, that we have to show you here. Two of them are new skins for the guns, and there is one new gun. Yeah, there's certain, like, you can't get skins on all of the guns, but certain guns you can get them. You can go down and you can see the Yusuf Amir luxury finish on the um, Micro SMG. That's what I'm looking at right now. Um, I don't know if you remember from uh, GTA 4, if you remember Yusuf. Uh, then you remember this, this camo or skin, whatever you want to call it. And, yeah, that looks pretty cool. You can also get it on the SMG. My favorite so far, there. out of all of the, is the Platinum Pearl Deluxe. Which one is that one on? Uh, Pistol 50. Oh yeah, I've seen that one. You can also get it on the uh, regular assault rifle. You can get the Yusuf on that one. Um, you can go to the carbine and get that one. And you can go down to... Uh, this is the one I bought. I didn't buy it for all weapons, but I bought the... Gilded Gun Metal Finish. And it looks really cool. It looks like a Japanese top thing. And, uh, if you go to the regular sniper, they don't have it on the heavy sniper. You can get the edged wood. And I thought that looked really cool. I don't have enough money to get that right now. Uh, yeah. yeah, and the new gun is the combat PDW. Uh, as you see right here, this is the fully upgraded one. Me and Dark have them. I'm gonna go outside so I can show you what mine looks like. Yellow has a flashlight on it. I have, have sights on it. Let's go on the first person. So. Really cool. I think it, the damage is not as good as the other guns, but it's still pretty cool because it's a personal weapon. Uh, anything outside. So. 
Oh, I was just, I was still looking through all of the... I make sure, like, they know which guns you can get all these new temps on. I was going through every gun. I, I'm deeply staring into your smooth eyes. Like, you look like you have a, a black eye. I did not mean to buy that. You just bought a gun, didn't you? I bought a proximity mod. Yeah, I think these uh, these tents and like or camos, whatever you want to call them, they look really cool. Um, I think they're like getting in. I mean, since recently when we got PS4 version of GTA 5, um, they've been kind of focusing on the looks and details of the guns, I noticed that. They're starting to get into more of the Call of Duty, like, I don't know, they're just kind of competing with them a little bit, and like getting new customization on your guns, I thought it was really cool. Yeah, there's a PDW, I haven't showed you all on my screen yet, I went ahead and bought it, I'll show you what mine looks like out here. While, while he's doing that, on my side, this, I will be showing you like detailed pictures of each car. Since I did not do that while we were introduced. Showing detailed pictures of what? The cars, the new cars. Yeah. Like when you click on them, it shows the three pictures. Oh really? Oh, I know what you mean. I've already done that. Yeah, um, Alright, well, that pretty much covers the whole update, I think. Oh, wait a minute. There is two new things, actually, that I have not mentioned. Neither him. If you go into travel and transport and look at the planes, they added two new, er, three new planes. Um, Deluxe or Deluxe and the Swift Deluxe. It's solid gold, and I don't think it's worth it at all. I just purely do not think it's worth it. Yeah, I forgot to mention although that. Although that is a, a private jet, and you're able to drink wine and all that crap, it's $10 million. It's not worth it. Yeah. I heard you can smoke Anything cigars bad? on it and drink wine, but why? I mean, it's not really worth it. It's kind of a cool feature, but for 10 million, nah, uh, I'm good. Yeah, those are the new, new plane and helicopter. I mean, we've already, we pretty much already had those, except they just made them more fancy. And I didn't mention before they uh, updated the war stock. They, just the look of the website. Nothing new as far as vehicles, but. Yeah. Pretty much all the websites they updated. I thought it was cool. Um, I think that covers the update. Um, with that being said, like it, there is going to be a part two of this update later on this summer. We heard. What do you think, Slender? As far as part two, what will be on there? I I. I think it's honestly going to be the heist update, where they add the new heist. There's rumor that there's going to be a casino heist, yeah. and that that's basically all they've released of it so far. Yeah, I think that would be cool. But also, I'd like to see new guns, because I know we only got one gun in this update. I think that one gun was just kind of a sneak peek or something. We might be able to get... Um, I mean, the PDW is pretty cool, but honestly, I want more guns and just that, you know. But then again, they do have quite a few guns nowadays. We started out with just a few. I accidentally bought five guns the other day. Really? Yeah, a grenade launcher was one of them. Well, you need that eventually anyway. 
I don't, I don't know what for, but I, gu I guess I can use it to kill people. Simply put. Yeah. But as for future updates, what else do you think they're gonna add? Future updates. Honestly, like, okay, the, it's summer just started, but I'm kind of expecting um, something to come out around Halloween, and I thought this would be really cool. I've always thought about this when uh, Halloween came around for Grand Theft Auto, and they haven't done it yet, but I thought it'd be cool if they came out with an update on Halloween, and we could, like, wear full body costumes, like silly stuff like gorilla or like rabbits and stuff. I thought that'd be cool. I know we have masks, but we don't have full body outfits yet. And I thought that'd, that'd be, be amazing. Yeah, I've thought about that before in the past. I don't see why they wouldn't. That'd be a cool feature too. Like, mm -hmm. I would honestly want to buy that update. Speaking of which, I honestly think as bad as like loading and all that crap goes, the updates make everything worth it. Cause it's all free. Rockstar does not put prices on anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um. As far as like, there was a really old rumor. It's been going around for a long time, and I just wanted to see what you think about it. That rumor that there possibly going to be like zombies in GTA 5. It's really old and we haven't seen anything like that yet. Do you think that's still going to be a possibility? Or what do you think? I don't know. How would they implement that into the game? I have no idea, but... Like that would have to be a separate mode altogether. Yeah, I've seen, but I've seen in some people's videos where they go into the codes of GTA and they've seen like zombie the abbreviation for zombie in the codes. So I mean I don't know. Um, I, I think no it's something to look forward to. Yeah, it's kind of it, it's gonna be a surprise. A really good possibility. It's a good possibility but I don't know how they're gonna do it. And, uh, if they do do it and I'm kind of interested to see how they do it. I don't know if it'll be something during free mode. Like, instead of loading online, you can load into, like, uh, a zombie lobby or something. Or if it's a, just a game mode. Kind of like Last Sim Standing, or you could have a game mode like that. Or, like, survival, except uh, zombies instead of, you know, people. I don't know. Okay, so, although we were going to stick to GTA 5, what do you think GTA 6 is going to be like? Honestly, um, I really don't have no idea. I mean, no one really does, because it's still a while. Even though GTA 5 has been out for a couple of years already, um... It's still probably going to be another Whoa. three or four until GTA 6 comes Did out. Did you see that? Please tell me you saw that. What? What was it? You didn't see that truck just flip in the air? No. Well. Continue. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, like, no one really knows what GTA 6 is going to be like, because GTA 5 has only been out for a couple of years, and it's going to be another three or four until GTA 6 comes up, but I do think that it's going to be a really similar to GTA 5, honestly, I'm assuming, because if you think about it, there was a huge leap between GTA 4 and GTA 5. There was a lot of things that they took out during GTA 4 from, like, San Andreas that they wanted back, and they brought that back in GTA 5. And there's really not much to ask for for GTA 6 other than better graphics and uh, maybe bigger lobbies and stuff. But other than that, I really don't think there will be much of a difference unless they change the feel. Like it, it could be like GTA in a different country or something. I don't know. Well, that's just something to think about. 
have no idea. I, I kind of agree with you with the country bit. Like, if they based it in Tokyo or something, that would be so freaking cute. Yeah. Like, there would be new scenery, all of that, and they, they'd have new possibility of new weapons, new cars, all that. It'd be yeah. just way cool. Yeah. Um, I've heard people talk about, they were like, uh, well, it's a huge possibility that the new GTA 6 map would be Liberty City, they might bring that back from GTA 4. And I really, I think it's too soon. And not only it's too soon, but honestly, there's a lot of people that didn't like Liberty City. I really like how GTA 5 did it. Their map is really diverse. There's a lot of countryside and there's a lot of cities. And that's what I love about GTA 5. Um, and I think they're just going to do something like that for GTA 6. That's why I kind of disagree with people that it's going to be Liberty City. And, uh, but yeah. This car's horsepower is ridiculous. <laughs> With that being said, I mean, well, after talking about, like, future, like, GTA 6, what do you think about, like, past GTAs? Could you, like, categorize your Grand Theft Autos? Like, um, which one no. did you play the most? Which one did you enjoy the most? The one I played the most was honestly San Andreas. Yeah. Go I on. just liked it because it was, the graphics were completely new at the time. And they had, out of all of them, that was the most detailed in, like, guns, cars, and you know, a, whole, a whole lot more than all the others. Yeah. Oh, God. I like how we started off this video being all careful driving. We're over here, like, flying through the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> and that's actually a bad challenge in this video. Anyways, this is something I don't think I mentioned in my videos before, but I started playing Grand Theft Auto. I started off on Vice City, I remember one day, me and my brother, and we were over at my brother's friend's house, and they were wanting to go outside and play football, and I didn't really want to, so I stayed inside on his friend's uh, PS2, and he put Vice City in, and I thought it was like the best thing in the world. And I, I played Vice City. And that, that's what I remember Vice City for, is because that's what I started out on, and I, I like that game a lot. But, um, as far as the game, as far as the Grand Theft Auto that I probably put the most time into would be San Andreas, just like Slender, because that game was really diverse compared to GTA 3 and Vice City. San Andreas had so much more cheat codes, so much more maps more weapons, and just customization to your character, and even the cars. Like, San Andreas was the first Grand Theft Auto to actually bring customization to cars. Before that, you could just go to the pan spray and change color, and that was pretty boring. And, yeah, I mean, I just really put a lot of time into San Andreas, and um, as far as, like, the most memorable would probably be Grand Theft Auto 4 because I remember like it was the first Grand Theft Auto I was able to play online and it I really thought that was amazing because I love Grand Theft Auto and since I could play online I was really fun I could play with my friends for once and uh, that's like the most memorable and probably the most fun Grand Theft Auto as far as like overall fun like online campaign is overall the most fun Grand Theft Auto would be Grand Theft Auto 5 so far in my opinion and because uh, I've played it quite a bit I started from PS3 and here I am on PS4 and uh, it's, it's, it's really fun I've, obviously it's fun I'm over here level 232 all legit levels <laughs> So I've put some time into it, and um, yeah, as far as GTA 3, I didn't mention GTA 3 because Grand Theft Auto 3 was just kind of a Grand Theft Auto that I went back and played just because it was Grand Theft Auto. I didn't play it much because 
I didn't start out on Grand Theft Auto 3. So I really don't have much to say about that game. Um, yeah. Well, the video turned from GTA talk to Dylan talk. I really don't have anything else to say. Your stories are so intriguing. <laughs> I just go on and on. Like, uh, when you were going on about how you started GTA, I was like, how did I start GTA? I could not think of anything. I don't even remember starting GTA. Yeah. Like, uh, I played Vice City. I played... Uh, I have not played uh, GTA 4. Um, mm -hmm. I have played Ballad of Daytona and GTA 5, and that's it. Besides San Andreas. Well, if we like, play Battle of Gay Tony, you pretty much play GTA 4. I mean, as far as, like, gameplay and graphics, but as far as storyline, the storyline's completely different than GTA 4. But, yeah. Well, yeah. Basically, that's... I don't even know. We trailed from the first update to the story of how we started GTA. Yeah. And, I mean... Good turn of events. I think it'd be cool if I do eventually get a decent PC. I think it'd be cool, like, testing out the, all the new mods for uh, Grand Theft Auto V. There's all kinds of mods out there. Um, and it hadn't even been out that long, so, yeah. Alright, yeah, but let us know what your favorite Grand Theft Auto is, what you put the most time into, um, what do you think will be the next GTA, where do you think it will be placed, and all this. Just let me know, like, in the comments, like, just start a Grand Theft Auto conversation in the comments with everyone else, and just, yeah. Oh god, we glitched out like crazy on my screen. Oh my god. But yeah, um, other than that, I mean, there's really not much else to say. I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe to Slender's channel and yeah, go watch his uh, side of things, even though we're same video, but just go watch his side if you want. And uh, yeah. yeah, I guess we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by for the 100th video. And I guess I'll see you in the next video.